Hi YouTubers, it's Smoking se 787 again for the second day second day why I'm doing a video to my ass. Well, I have something to talk about, so bear with me. Now, I'm actually going to the Cape tomorrow, so I believe I'll be able to do a video tomorrow, so no 100% promises, but um, I will probably do a video tomorrow, and then I'll do one on Saturday when I get home from the Cape, so I'm going to Cape Cod tomorrow, so... The video on Saturday may be later in the day or evening, so don't be surprised, don't be panicked if you don't see a video until like 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So just to tell you guys, the video might be delayed on Saturday because I'm at the Cape. Anyway, I want to talk about this in this video right now. I want to talk about um, Room Note. Now I've talked about Room Note before for pipes and cigars, mainly pipes, and I want to talk about Room Note again, or Room of Tobacco. Now I want to mainly talk about um, the different levels of Room Note. And I might eventually, I'm not sure if I'm a series on this already, but um, I might eventually be doing a series on Room Note. I think I might be eventually doing it. I don't, no promises, but um, I might be eventually doing a series on Room Note. Anyway, I want to discuss in this video the different levels of Room Note and how they apply to tobacco. Now, you have pipes and cigars, and they both give off smoke when you burn them. Obviously, you're burning pipes and cigars when you're smoking them. And um, they give off smoke, both first-hand smoke into your mouth and second-hand smoke into the atmosphere. And they give off third-hand smoke, which is uh, maintained on, or retained on your clothing and, um, and whatever. So I want to discuss um, strong versus on, you know, mild and um, the different levels. Now, a mild room note, such as a sweet aromatic pipe tobacco, like um, a Cavendish, uh, Black Cavendish, you know, cherry... Um, very aromatic, smells very, very pleasant. So um, we're going in different levels. And I might eventually do a series on this. I think I might eventually do a series on this, covering this in more depth. So a very mild room note is very pleasant. And when I say pleasant, it's pleasant to people around you, including people who don't smoke. Now, there, there are some people out there who say, and I've done a video on this before, who just say, I hate the smell of smoke, period. They absolutely, for whatever reason, despise the smell of tobacco smoke. They just hate it. But there are so, there are a lot of people out there who like the smell of tobacco smoke. Not necessarily cigarette smoke, but um, pipe and cigar smoke. There are some people who love the smell of pipe and cigar smoke. Now, to them, a very mild cherry aromatic, apple aromatic, or very mild uh, flavored cigar or infused cigar may smell very appealing to them. They may like it. And really, that's a very pleasant smell. It's sweet. It's uh, mild, it's fruity. Then you get into a stronger room note with like a Virginia aromatic, a Virginia tobacco, or a Virginia vapor, or um, a Burley tobacco, or a stronger cigar like a Romeo Giulietta Connecticut cigar. So there's a Connecticut wrapper, or a Honduras Hondura wrapper, or Habana wrapper that's a more stronger smell, that has a stronger, smokier smell, um, like a pine needle smell, like burning pine leaves. Or, um, what do you call it? Like a stronger, more acidic smell. It's a stronger, and not everyone is going to like that. Some people will like it. Some people will say, I like any pipe and cigar smoke. I like cigarette smoke, but I love pipe and cigar smoke. Then there'll be people who will say, you know, well, I like, you know, fruity aromatics, fruity, sweet pipe tobaccos. But I really don't care for those strong burly flakes that have, you know, the burning uh, pepper-like smell. Not that appealing. Then you get into the very strong room notes, which are like a lot of Kia, the English blends, quote, English ones, the strong Boulevard Opsac cigars, the strong Maduro wrappers, that that smoky charcoal burning rubber taste or, or burning rubber smell. Very heavy, smoky, thick, heavy smell. Then your most non-smokers won't like that. And even to yourself, you know, even yourself smoking it, it gets harder and harder to smoke it in a closed space because of how strong it is, how smoky it is. It will make yourself cough. It will. It's so strong that the strong charcoal smokiness. Like, personally, I can't smoke Latakia in a closed room. I just can't. I've tried to do it before. It just makes me cough. So, well, not really, but I, mean, I, I can if I want to, but I really don't. I try to smoke in a ventilated space in general. So, 
I mean, if you're into the strong, smoky cigars and a lot of Cuban blends, English blends, those are really heavy and smoky. And, and most non-smokers don't like that. Because most non-smokers do not like the smell of church incense or um, charcoal or burning rubber. It's just a non-appealing smell. Then you get into the tobaccos that just absolutely reek. Now, when I say reek, I don't mean like smell like a dirty cigarette, like a, a dirty cigarette in an ashtray. I mean smell so strong that you yourself will cough if you are around them. They're so strong, just the smell of the smoke going to your face will make you cough. This tobacco right here, this pipe tobacco, a uh, Hearth and Home Black House, is one of them. It has the smell of like burning tires and burning rubber. And you, I cough myself just being around it. And I'm just coming off a chest cold, so or head cold, so um, just being around it after a week of having a head cold or um, being sick really, really bothers me. So, And most non-smokers don't like that smell. Even though it doesn't smell like a dirty cigarette, it's so strong that um, most non-smokers just hate that smell, even though they may like more mild tobaccos and more mild aromas. Anyway, give me your thoughts, comment, rate, subscribe, press the subscribe button, and press the share, and bye.